A few days ago, I did a poll on YouTube and asked whether or not you would like to see the massive declutter that I did. I got rid of at least half my, it might have even been like two thirds of my entire makeup collection. And I just purged a ton because I felt like I was really overwhelmed. And so I asked which you, which you would like to see more, whether you would like to see the decluttered things or whether you would like to see what I kept and how I keep my makeup together. And it was overwhelming that you wanted to see both. So this video today is gonna be all about what I decluttered. I'm gonna have everything spread across my bed and I'm just gonna go through them very, very quickly because this has to be quick. Otherwise, there's no way we could get through it in any amount of time whatsoever because there is so much. Now, before I get a bunch of questions, I donate my used makeup to either the high school drama class here in my local area. I have a lot of high schools actually in this area. If it's new stuff, then I'm able to take the new stuff to shelters but none of this is new. It's all used. So if any of you are curious, it does get a good home. It doesn't just get thrown away unless it's expired or unless it's very old or is getting kind of funky on me. So let's get into this so that you can see everything that I decluttered. And then um, in a few days, I'm going to show you my collection. So watch out for that video too. Let's get into the declutter right now. Okay, so what I decided to do was just put it all on my bed and... <laughs> There's so much. It's crazy. I cannot believe how much there is. This is the lip pile over here. Okay, so we're just going to go through fairly quickly so that you guys can get just an idea of all of this. Yes, I absolutely know that this is insane. What can I say? This is like four years worth of makeup that I haven't gotten rid of. All right, let's just start with lipsticks. For me, decluttering lipsticks is always about the color. And I have nine right here that I'm decoloring of ColourPop. And just for one reason or another, I probably have too many. I probably have too many of the same color, something like that. Same again, I love Max Formula, but here are some MAC lipsticks that I'm getting rid of. And this will have to have been about color, um, just that the colors were not right for me. And so, yeah, I'm going to be getting rid of those. Catrice did send me over some Powerful Five. I didn't like this particular formula. It was just a little bit too greasy for me. So I'm decluttering those. This is a Believe Beauty one. That is an old one. It should go in the garbage. These are my Revlon ones, and I have 13 of them. They are an assortment of mattes, and they're an assortment of satins and shimmers or or frosts, I guess I should say. So those are going. All of the Becca lipsticks that you can't get anymore, I had a ton of those and those are gonna go. And along with the same lines with the Urban Decay. I did keep a handful of Urban Decay, but um, a lot of these Urban Decay are going just because you guys can't buy them anymore. And so if I show them on camera, then you guys want them and they're not something that you can get anymore. So all of those are going Becca and Urban Decay's old formula. Here's one from Buxom, that is Dolly Dreamer. I liked this one, but I had one that was almost identical to it, so I'm getting rid of that one. These two colors from BK Beauty, I love this formula. I'm gonna give this to my sister because I know she's gonna love those colors. Um, and then there is a bunch of lippy sticks from ColourPop as well. ColourPop, I get really frustrated with because they get rid of their stuff so quickly. The colors change so quickly, so that one, yeah, it's a bit of a frustration on that. Tower 28, I liked this, but this wasn't a great color for me, and so I'm gonna declutter that one. I'm gonna give that one to my sister as well. Wonder 2 Cosmetics was kind enough to send me over some lipsticks, but these three colors, they sent me five. These three didn't work for me. Maybelline, I have a few Maybelline in here um, that I'm getting rid of. A couple of L'Oreal that I'm getting rid of some Flower Beauty. These are mostly the formula that is the matte liquid lipstick. Um, I'm going to get rid of those. There's another ColourPop one. This is a Pixie Beauty liquid lip one. This is a Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip one. Estee Lauder lipstick. A Flower Beauty lipstick. This one is in Autumn Rose. That's just too old. That one needs to go in the garbage. This is a Laura Mercier lipstick that was just way too bright and too dark for me. And then this one is from Dose of Colors. I've used that one like crazy. That's old. That's got to be put in the garbage can. Naked Blush from Flower Beauty. That one is just too orange. 
There's another Catrice one. This one is from Origins. That is just too beige for me, what didn't work for me. This is from KVD Beauty. That one I used a bit, but doesn't work now. Again, in Urban Decay. This is called Color of the World, and I did buy six of their uh, lipsticks, but then um, I got some of these colors home and they weren't that great for me. So a couple of those are going. This CoverGirl one didn't work because it was too frosty on me. And then I had one from Physicians Formula that is their Rose Kiss All Day Glossy Lip Color. So that one's going. And then this palette from Pixie, I knew that I wasn't going to use this palette, so it hasn't been touched at all. I'm going to pass that on to one of my relatives as well. And then I have a bunch of glosses. One from Believe Beauty, one from the Sephora collection. These are from Bare Minerals. These are like too glittery for me. They're just really, they're just a little bit over the top for me. This is a lip oil from Kosas that was just not a good color at all. I'm going to give that one to my sister as well. And then um, a few things from ColourPop, some from Milani. There is a liquid lip from Koki that is so drying. These are mostly about color. Um, although this liquid cat suit from Wet n Wild, this is one of the best formulas. If you guys want a cheap, inexpensive, but very, very pigmented, good lip, lip gloss lipstick hybrid, those are fantastic. Flower Beauty, this is one of their, I think it's just their Petal Pout Lip Mask. This is a lip gloss from LA Girl. NYX, um, this is Milky Gloss. This one is from Revlon. There is another one from Revlon. Anastasia Beverly Hills during the holidays had a gloss in a kit and it ended up being full of grit and I cannot handle that. So that has to go. Persona has beautiful glosses, but I didn't like this one. This one from Milani is going to my daughter. It wasn't the right color for me. And then I have from Beauty Pie, didn't like that color. This one from NYX is the color Cinnamon Roll. Didn't like that one either. Loved this one from L'Oreal, but they don't make that anymore, so you guys couldn't get it. Another one from Bare Minerals that didn't work for me, and another one from LA Girl that I didn't like. And then this one that is just the gloss from Kosas that I'm gonna give to my niece. And then tons and tons and tons of lip liners. Is this the thing that we just can't find? Is a good lip liner, a good mascara, good concealer? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the kind of stuff, I try all this for you guys, and then it ends up not being any good, and I feel so bad about getting rid of it, but at least I can give it away to somewhere where it's going to be used. One of my very favorite formulas, and I've raved about it on my channel for years, is the Sephora Gel Rouge Lip Liners, but these happen to be four colors that just didn't work for me. They were too warm, or they just turned a funky color on me. So those four colors are going. And if you want to know what they are, there is Wild at Heart, Hot Sauce, the um, Dress to the 90s, and Rosewood. Those colors didn't work for me. And then I had a bunch from Koki. These are fabulous liners. One time Koki sent me everything, all of their line. They're wonderful liners. They stay on really good, but these are just some colors that didn't quite work for me, so I'm gonna get rid of those. Buxom has a formula that they came out with very recently where it has that brush on one end and then their kind of triangle on the other end, which is a fabulous formula, but this one was just much too dark for me. And then they had their old formula, which is just a stick, and both of these that I got in a kit one time those were both very, very orange, so I couldn't do that. All these other ones, they're very much about color. So this one is from Juvia's Place. I love this formula from Juvia's Place, but I can't find a really good color for me in their lip liners. These are from ColourPop, and again, for one reason or another, it's color on those. Um, Kiko Cosmetics, they had one. Um, this one just didn't work for me as well as far as color. NYX, I have bought so many NYX ones and just ended up getting rid of them because of the color. And then also Rimmel does the same thing. It's got, it's just about color more than anything. They have, you know, fantastic formulas. L'Oreal, here's one from Clinique. This is about the color. Here's one from Wonder 2 Cosmetics, again, about the color. This is one I didn't even open because I had a duplicate and I need to send this one to my sister. I really do like this one. What color is this one from? LA Girl Cosmetics, the per Perfection Precision Lip Liner. And this one is in blushing. And then another one from Essence, another one from Milani, another one from Essence, Huda Beauty, Persona, another one from NYX, Rimmel, LA Girl, Essence, 
NYX. So these are all about colors. I like these a lot. Um, I just kept trying colors and couldn't find ones that I liked. So even though these aren't, oh, this one from Moira, I did not like that formula on that one. I ordered some stuff from Moira and I wasn't crazy about that formula at all. And actually I wasn't that crazy about Clinique's. It was okay, but it wasn't the greatest. This last one is the Pillow Talk one from Charlotte Tilbury. And that just looks so orange on me. And actually right in this light, it's not looking too orange. It's kind of looking like a muted peach. I don't know. I always think I should keep this just for references. So maybe it'll go to the side for now. All right, moving on to eyeliners. I have a lot of liquid liners in here um, that I'm getting rid of for one reason or another. I have so much. That's why. Because I just wanted to pare down my collection more than anything. I just really wanted to get down to a minimal amount of things, which you'll see. I still have a ton when you do see that. So from NYX, this is the Epic Ink Liner. That's the fine one. That one ran out, actually. That one should go in the garbage. Okay, from Essence, their 24 Ever Ink Liner. Um, I'm just getting rid of these. I don't know who that one came from. This one is from LA Girl. It's their fine line in their plum. Wasn't that saturated. This one is a brand new one from Kiko and Kiko Milano. And it is called A Holiday Fable Forever Magic Eye Marker. And guess what? This one just did not work out for me. It couldn't get a line on there enough. This is the Sephora Eyeliner Liquid Intense Ink Liner. This one I couldn't hold steady enough. These ones that have brushes on them, I can't hold them steady enough to do a line because of my shaking hands. So I kind of have to get rid of those. Essence Super Precise Eyeliner, same thing. There's another one from Sephora. This one from ColourPop. This one needs to be thrown away because it's just old. And then these are the regular um, like coal or gel liners. Here's some from Marc Jacobs that I'm getting rid of because you can't buy his stuff anymore. Wonder 2 Cosmetics. These are great, you guys. If you have um, somebody that really you think might like these, um, really seriously, they, they are really a good one to go on the waterline. Wonder 2 Cosmetics, High Tech Beauty, Super State Eyeliner, Essential Navy. That's just old. That has to go in the garbage. This one is from Revlon, the Color State. I like it, but I have a ton of blue, a brown. From Milani, the Stay Put. There's another one that's a metallic one. This one is from NYX. This one is from the Sephora Collection, Sephora Collection, Clinique. NYX and this one is from Mally. All of those I have tons of colors like that or ones that I like a little bit better. So all right before I get into the crayons let me just really quickly do these single shadows and then the liquid eyeshadows. So ColourPop has a formula called Jelly Much. It's a mess. I can't get into it. I bought it twice it's a pretty concept, but it just doesn't work for me. These two Super Shock shadows, I wouldn't be getting rid of them, but they're both dried out, um, so those are going. This one from Huda Beauty, it dried my eyelids so bad. I liked it. I thought it was a great color, but it dried them out really bad. Now, the same goes. Koki, again, sent me a bunch of their liquid eyeshadows, which were gorgeous on, but in a very, very short time, they dried my eyelids out, and so I'm going to get rid of all of those. And then this one that is from from elf did the same thing to me so that one is going to go too. this is from milk makeup and it's called a color chalk and i just really don't know exactly what you're supposed to do other than eyeshadow for with this but that is a mess and then from kajal they had theirs that came in like this quad right here which i liked it's okay but they were all had a bunch of glitter in them and i'm not a glitter fan l'oreal infallible this is the best eyeshadow l'oreal has ever made if you get your your chance to get your hands on one of these then and you find a color you like this is the best shadow the most saturated beautiful shadow this particular one i just don't reach for ever 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 but they are so pigmented and saturated so i will link to some of those on amazon for you guys so you can see those those are amazing eyeshadows this came as a sample in a MAC order that I did, and I just didn't care for the color. This is a Maybelline Color Tattoo one in Chill Girl. Love the color. Just have a ton of this kind of stuff, and this stuff is drying out. That one needs chuck. Okay, so I bought these during the sale um, on the holidays, and these colors right here, I'm going to forward these on to my sister because she's going to get so much more use out of that than me, and it's going to dry out. And then these are all just shadow sticks that I have that I have kind of the same colors or I have colors that I like a little bit better and I knew that there was no way I was going to be able to use all of these up these right here are from elf and they're beautiful and I like them 
but they're going to dry out on me and I'm not going to be able to use them. So I'm going to pass all of these on to my family because I love eyeshadows like this, though there's another one from ColourPop. Um, I do love eyeshadows like this, but these are going to dry out and I'm not going to have them anymore. So these are going to go to um, my sister. Probably she could probably really use these one and done type thing. Then these are the elf ones, same thing. And then this one from Julep. This is a, this one is okay. I didn't like this one very much at all. And a lot of times some of these are just way too warm of colors for me. And so I end up not using them and I just need to get rid of them. So those are all going as well. And then these are some of the brushes that I'm decluttering. I do have a ton more brushes that I um, have that I'm getting rid of, but these are just a few of them that I'm decluttering. They're odds and ends. Some of them are beginning to lose their hair. Some of them need to be just thrown in the garbage. Um, but yeah, I'm just for one reason or another getting rid of those. This is all of my eyebrow products that I'm getting rid of. The Bite Size Eyebrow Palette from e.l.f. I did not like that. I didn't think it was a very good quality. Anastasi Beverly Hills, one time I got a little kit with minis in there and I didn't like that brow gel because it didn't spread very well. There's a Morphe brush for your eyebrows in there. I have two or three of those that's going. I didn't like this Urban Decay brow blade. That one's going. Um, the Morphe setting gel, didn't like that. From Arches and Halos, you get this at Target. I actually did like this one, um, but I need a different color in that. And then I have two of these from Kosas and they're both the wrong color. Those are going to go to my niece. And then um, a Sephora clear brow gel, brow boss gel from ColourPop. And then there is Flower Beauty. This is the, every one of Flower Beauty's products that are for, this is an eyeliner. It shouldn't have been in here, but that are for your eyebrows. They are so red. And I am finding that with not red, orange. I'm finding that with Flower Beauty, I'm having the hardest time with all of their things being orange. Oh my goodness, I've got so much dog hair on here. Forgive a lady that has dogs. Okay, and then this one is from Wet n Wild. That one's going as well. Please keep in mind that just because I'm doing this doesn't mean that I don't like these things. I just have too much and I'm so overwhelmed by all of this and I need to declutter so that I know what I have and then I can use up what I really, really like and then some of it is not available to you guys. So that's kind of what's going on. This one is from Milani. It's one of their trios. Um, I don't think you can get that anymore. This one, I loved using this the few times that I did get to use it. It's from Morphe, but that right there got melted on me in the car and I did clean it up, but that's kind of pain when you have something like that that gets all melted like that. So I like those that stack, but I wish that they'd made it a little bit thicker on some of those creams. These from Flower Beauty and from Pixie, those are definitely going to go. Um, I don't like the formula on these and the ones on the e.l.f. I do like the formula, but these colors weren't exactly right for me. This is a multi-stick from e.l.f., which I love, but that color isn't good for me. Same thing with this Little Rare Beauty. N not a good color for me. Same thing with the color Cover FX one. Um, much too orange, too peach for me. And most of the rest of these, it is about color. Although the Revlon Stick Instant Blush, that is not a good formula. Neither is this Morphe one, the Cream Blush. That's not a good formula. I do like the LA Girl. These Velvet Blush, con um, they're called Contour Sticks, but they're not. I like those a lot. I do like the ones that you get from ColourPop. However, these just weren't colors that were good for me. You can use those as lipsticks or blush. And then I like this one from Shani as well. You get off of, of um, Amazon, but um, I didn't really like the color. Juicy Pink, same thing with the color. Another one from ColourPop, color. This is about the color, this tart one, never used, just orange, orange. Fig Pop, this one is a little one from Clinique that just didn't work for me. This one is from best I guess that's how you say that it didn't stand my cheeks beauty pie um, beauty pie I found this formula very stiff and hard to work with this one again very stiff from Morphe and then this one that's peach sunset from Tarte this one is not a good color for me from Zing Beauty this one is a dual sided one and I do like this but it got melted on me I left it in my car I've got it I got to throw that one away and then this one is um, from NYX Wonder 2 Cosmetics Elf, wrong color, bare minerals, not gen nude, very dark color for me. Um, or an orgasm mini blush from NARS, 
just getting rid of it. Terrible formula on this ColourPop one. The Cheek Dew Serum Blush just, it spreads and it doesn't stick stick around at all from kiko milano this beautiful blush as far as that embossing goes in there but not a great color for me and then this one from ulta where they're trying to dupe the laura geller one i found way too much glitter in this way too orange in here and the blush didn't have enough pigment for me from iconic london this is their sheer bronzer and this one is in caramel glow way too orange for a girl this is from flower beauty this is their new stellar prismatic highlighter this is so chunky glitter uh -uh, i can't do that this one is old i need to throw that butter bronzer away from flower beauty the heat wave i had heard that this was really good because it was um cool toned uh not for me again not cool tone for me on that bronzer on the heat wave and then kiko no cool tone this one kiko milano very very orange look at that gorgeous embossing on that i love the packaging i love everything about it but a girl can't use it when it's that orange this is another one from Cobest, and they are trying to dupe fenty beauty and i use this for quite some time but as you can see it's got quite a divot in it but it got started it is starting to get dried out so that one's gonna go the putty bronzers from elf i'm not a huge fan of those as well the radiance brick from rimmel very orange can't do that one either from folklore i actually do like this one very much i'm going to probably order another one of these but this is super old it needs to go in the garbage can from folklore this is just one of their glow ones um this one is beautiful if you get a chance to try folklore it's got it's the quite a pretty company as far as a lot of their things go i shouldn't say pretty company pretty products from ofra this is one of their highlighters i never dip into this is a very old highlighter from ColourPop. um used and used again um, it's still good but you guys can't get it so i'm going to get rid of it from kiko milano this is one of their highlighters i think yes silky highlighter but that one is super duper dry that one i had a hard time with this is from cover x fx their custom enhancer drops not a good color for me to orange um this one i need to get a new one um i'll have a cosmo wet and wild they're two reflect palettes look at that that is so oh my gosh i love this i've used it i've probably had it for five years it's gonna go and it's gonna go in the garbage i got these from mac and although i like them they're supposed to be blushes. They are such a shimmery product that I can't really wear them as a blush. And then as a blush topper, there's just too much pigment in there. So can't do that one. Limited edition on Maybelline a long, long time ago. And that one needs to go in the garbage as well. Um, a setting powder from ColourPop to drying. This one from Milani. This one dried out on me as well. Um, this one from Becca. You can't get any of Becca's anymore. So I've got this powder from Becca, this highlighter from Becca, another highlighter from Becca. All of those are going because you can't get them anymore. And I don't show them if you can't get them. From Clinique, this is their Lunar Pop Powder Pop Flower Highlighter. I don't even know if you can get this one or not anymore, but I was looking for it and I didn't see it. And so I'm going to declutter that one. I think it's beautiful. Two more blush sticks from ColourPop. This is from Undone Beauty that you get at um, Ulta. And this is supposed to be a bronzer. Now that is the orangest thing I've ever seen. That does not look like a bronzer. It's orange and it won't it won't spread out. It's like once it's there, it's like there. It's very watery, so it sinks into the skin very quickly. I don't know how to work with that, and that's unusual for me <laughs> to not know. This one from Sephora, you guys know how much I like Second Chance, but this one that is First Touch got a horrible film over top of it for one, I, and you can scrape that off. That's not a problem, but um, I'm going to give this one to my niece who's a little bit warmer than me. Laguna Bronzer, too warm, same thing. This is a white mixer. Actually, it's just a white um foundation from la girl but it's not the one that i use for mixing so i was going to get rid of that one this is another highlighter from ColourPop. um too many too much sparkle very dark putty bronzer from elf um can't use it. it's way too dark p louise eyeshadow base that you can get off of the morphe website i found this to be terribly terribly drying i cannot use this at all l'oreal infallible freshwear 
This is the most dry foundation I have seen in a long time. I cannot use that. And then also all of these from Bare Mineral. Um, I got these during the holidays at one time or another or Mother's Day or whatever. And they're just, I can't use the um, loose one. I can use the pressed one, but I can't use the loose one. Speaking of the pressed one, I do have several of their, of the pressed one, but they're not the right color for me. So I'm going to, they're just much too dark. So I'm going to go ahead and let those go. And then from Sephora, they have their pressed powder that is supposed to be the foundation. That one didn't work too drying. This one from e.l.f. is just let, like the Bye Bye Pores. This one is the Illumination. So they're just alike, but this one has a little bit of the um, kind of frosty in it. So I'm getting rid of both of those. Um, this e.l.f. one is too drying. This one is just too um, too shiny for me. I've got a CC corrector one from it. This is quite old. I just don't know how old it is really. It's a, actually a, says it's a finishing veil, but it actually was used as their foundation. So I don't know if I should keep that one or not. Probably should get rid of it. A highlighter from Juvia's Place. I just have a million highlighters and they don't make these anymore. The Glow Powder, Candlelight Glow from Laura Mercier, too glowy. And then I've got an e.l.f. halo in a darker color than I could use. I've got the L'Oreal True Match. That one needs to be thrown away. It's too old. The Revolution, Makeup Revolution. This is the Conceal and Define Translucent Matte Powder. This is super duper drying on me. It just did not work. Cool concept because of the way it's all packaged, but they need to put more into their product. Okay, moving right along. Baking powder from Makeup Revolution. I can't use that one. This one is too dark from Physicians Formula and I didn't like the way this Butter Believe It foundation lay on my skin. I really didn't like the Revlon Color Stay Light Cover foundation. It didn't work. The Morphe Filter Effect Drying Terrible Foundation. I'm getting rid of this Infallible Freshwear um, because it is a color that turns orange on me. I do like this formula and I will try to buy another one that has a better color, but this formula doesn't work. I'm getting rid of this It CC Cream, the matte one. This is an old tube that needs to go in the garbage. Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer sheer long wear makeup. Um, this one didn't work for me. I couldn't get any coverage out of it. I just, I like the original. And then the Hydro Flex from Tarte. Um, that one didn't work. And then from Exa, this one does work for me. This is their High Fidelity Semi Satin Foundation. Say that 10 times. Um, this one works for me. I really like it. It just is, it's gotten old. It's outdated. This one from Flower Beauty, the Get Real Serum Foundation. Oh my gosh, that was horrible. Did not give any coverage. It was like putting water on my skin. This one from the Cream Shop CC Cream. This one turns bright, bright orange. I'm not kidding. You look like a pumpkin with that. And then LA Girls, same thing with this one. It turned bright orange. This is their High Fidelity high definition, whatever. The original, the new formula from Bare Minerals, not the old one, but the new one. I didn't like that one as well as I liked the other ones. So that one's going to go. And then I've had this tester of Makeup Forever for a long time and it has to go because um, somebody else needs to use it up. It's just way too dark for me. The color corrector from Flower Beauty is one of the hardest, toughest. It is, oh my gosh, I don't, I'm not crazy about that at all. It just did not work for me. And then this quad thing that she came out with, I didn't like it either. I was supposed to be specifically for the eyes and brighten up and help and I didn't like it at all. This one from Kiko Milano, much too emollient and just creased like crazy. Number seven, I do like this one very much. I've, I've used this one a ton. It just is too old. It's got to go in the garbage terrible concealer from Maybelline Superstay. Oh my goodness, that is so drying. This one was okay from Pure, but I found that it was just a tiny bit too drying. This one from Makeup Revolution hardly had any coverage. Flower Beauty, I used to love this one, and I'm wondering if they changed the formula or if I got a bad one, because um, it's not giving me the kind of coverage that it used to. From Huda Beauty, this one is just much too dry. I can't use that one hardly at all. This one from um, Tarte, this is the Ultra Creamy. You can see how that color has separated in there. Um, that's how it came and I was a little bit worried about it and I tried to stir it up and everything. So I'm just a little bit worried about that. I'm thinking about writing Tarte and ask them or 
sending Tarte an email and asking them if that's normal on that one. This is a Laura Geller. This is a peach highlighter that I just can't use. Um, this is from Morphe. One of the most drying um, concealers I've ever used. That again, the original, the new concealer, that new formula that Bare Minerals has out, very drying. Born to Glow, I do like this. They discontinued it. I'm getting rid of it because I can't show it on camera. From Revlon, the Photo Ready Eye Primer and Brightener. This is just one that I didn't like. It just kind of made a mess on my eyes. This is an eye base from Juvia's Place. Um, this was a very deep, deep color. It didn't work for me at all. So that one is going to go as well. I got these dual-sided lipsticks from Tarte and great concept, but Every one of these colors is just much too orange for me or too dark, uh, more on the peachy side. So those aren't going to work for me. I'm going to pass those on to somebody that can use them. Here's a few odds and ends. This is a concealer from the Cream Shop. This is a spray. Hello, good stuff. I actually do like this, but um, the watermelon scent in it got to me so i couldn't use that one and then this one i actually love from the electric mood from elf i actually do really love this but you can't buy it anymore so if i can't show it on camera same thing with this kiko charming escape you can't buy it anymore this one from la girl the luminous glow you can buy this one i still like this one but i want a different color in it and then I also have the Molten Body Glow. They, they were trying to, this is Makeup Revolution. They were trying to dupe um, Fenty's um, Body Glow. And it does a pretty good job, but it's not something that I wear. So I'm going to pass it on to somebody that can use it. And then I went Palette Purge Crazy. I really decided that I was going to do a deep palette purge. And I didn't want to keep ones that I knew I wasn't going to um, use because of colors. And I didn't want to just hold on to them for sentimental reasons. I just feel like I had way, way, way too many palettes. So these are the palettes that are going. You might recognize some of them from last time. Um, I put some of them aside and I couldn't remember, so I tried them again. This is a bronze and glow from Joa. I was not crazy about that either, just not my color at all. And then a ColourPop blush that you cannot get anymore. So those are gonna go. You can't get this blush palette from Juvia's Place anymore. That one's gonna go. Um, I think you can still get the Nubian, but I couldn't um, use this very much because the colors are just much too dark for me. So I decided to let that one go. This one, I love those, these formulas from BH Cosmetics. I think they're fan, I'm not getting rid of that. Who am I kidding? I'm not getting rid of that one. That one's going to the side. This one from Physicians Formula. I was not crazy about this one, this whole entire, I think it's a great concept, but all of these are too orange. There's so many um, glitter colors in here that are too orange. And even the blushes were too um, peachy for me. So those are going to go as well. That big one. This one is the LA Girl Pro Mastery. And although I do love this, again, it just my color scheme. I have so many of those in my color scheme. And that one's going to go Laura Mercier. I did not like that formula. I touched it twice. Kiko Milano didn't like that formula. I touched this one twice. Didn't like it at all. I am one of the few people that does not like the new Wet n Wild formula at all. I'm not a, fran a fan of it, but I just decided that it was going to have to go. Going coconuts, I know a lot of you are going to gasp at that, but this is really warm and I've really used it a lot. So I felt like I did get a good use out of it, but it's warm and I have those colors in other places. This one from e.l.f., I think the new Classics is one of their better palettes. I use this a ton, but again, this one is probably too old. I probably should put it to the side. Makeup Revolution, too old, put it to the side, got to get that one into the garbage. I did not like this new formula with these quads from Flower Beauty. I was not crazy. I don't think I've ever been very crazy about any formula from Flower Beauty. I'm not crazy about the formula from Pixie on their eyeshadows either. That one's going to go. Um, the Just My Luck, this is about co the color scheme, a little bit too warm and a little bit too dark. This one, you guys can't get this one anymore. You're a cutie from ColourPop. That one's going. This is the Nudes from Makeup Revolution. I did like this one and I did use this one a lot. But again, um, I think that one's probably a little bit too old. Makeup Revolutions, Disney, The Aristocrats. I got this one, I have to tell you, just because of the movie. And the, the formula is no, not any good because I should have known that already because I know Makeup Revolution changed their formula years ago and it became one that I just don't like. So that one's going to go. Juvia's Place, the Nubian 3 Coral. That one I used a ton, but I decided that I 
couldn't use it anymore. The Nomad by Juvia's Place, I do love it, but again, I just decided that those colors weren't for me anymore. The Jungle Lights from um, Flower Beauty, I thought I was gonna love this because I'd heard so many people talk about it. I like metallic, but when it gets that glitter in there, it's just too hard for me. I have another one of those in here somewhere that I'll show you. From Dominique Cosmetics, I loved this Rustic Glam Palette when I had it, but, um, they, you can't buy it anymore, so I can't show it to you guys, and I have plenty of other colors to show you guys in tutorials, so that one's going. All Things Equinox from ColourPop, you can't get that one anymore either. This is the Blushing in Bali from BH Cosmetics, the blush palette, beautiful palette. If you're in the market for a blush palette, it's, it's really nice, and these shimmers are really beautiful too. I probably should keep that, but I have a lot of blushes and a lot of blush palettes. Um, from Juvia's Place, the Saharan, that one's going. From Juvia's Place, the Zulu, that one's going. You can see that these are very bright colors and it's just time for them to go. The Masquerade, that one I've had too long. It has to go into the trash. Um, this is the VIP one, Desert Dream from LA Girl. You guys know how much I love LA Girl, but I decided that I was going to thin that a little bit. You can see how warm those colors are. Won't work for me anymore. The Fierce and Wild one too warm of colors for me there is also the pro artistry one which um, again just the colors are just much too warm or this one kind of got a mess and then this one is the hot heat and again much too warm and that one is broken I should just throw that one away and I decided that I was going to start to be really smart about not keeping things because of nostalgia there's a wet and wild little um, five pan one. There's another wet and wild one that needs to go. This one from Profusion, the Sapphires. I did like this, but I couldn't get a complete look out of it, and I have a lot of blues in other places that I will use. This one from Too Faced, you can see I left it open when the hairspray was out. So <laughs> I am getting rid of that one as well, and then I have a few more from ColourPop. Garden Variety, I think this is a gorgeous one. Again, if I just had just have too many. This one came broken to me. This is the plush like me. And then this one is in a trance. I don't even know if you can get in a trance anymore. I think you maybe can. Blush Crush, although I use that like crazy. Again, that's just a little bit on the warm side for me when I get it on my eyes. Here's another one from Juvia's Place, the Moths. And then another one of Wet n Wild's Five Pans. And then Huda Beauty, I'm getting rid of the Haze. That one's right there. That one's the khaki. I'm getting rid of the purple haze. And I'm getting rid of the amethyst one. I'm not a Huda Beauty eyeshadow fan. I have um, her one that she just came out with. And I'm Rose Quartz. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. But these are not my favorites. The Norvina is an old one. I need to get rid of it. And I have the Modern Renaissance. It was one, probably my first palette I ever got. Both of those they need to go in the garbage. The Elf, Oceans, and Earth, or Earth and Oceans. Beautiful palette. Needs to go in the garbage. Too old. Um, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter Palette is their, other, is their little highlighters. This is the um, beautiful highlighters in here, but again, colors that I won't use. Um, this is the brand new Natasha Denona. I barely even use this one. This is her Zendo palette, and I got into it. I used it twice, could not get looks out of it that I really like that well. That one's going. Another one that is from Sephora, just too dark for me, and then I've got a few of those from Sephora that I bought, and each of those I either have colors already that are in my stash, or the formula wasn't good, or... Um, they're just much too warm. So all of those are going as well. This is the Rach Loves and Pixie palette. You can't get this one anymore. Um, this is one that I think is really sad that you can't get anymore. It needs to be around, but it's got to go. This is from Pixie as well. These are too warm. This is Pixie and Promise. You can still get this, but these colors are much too warm for my face. And then the Milani Bold Obsessions and the Soft and Sultry. Milani, if you're listening, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. I wish that they would bring back this formula because it's phenomenal. But, right, I can't show it on camera because they don't make it anymore. Here is a blush from 
ColourPop you can't get anymore as well. The reason that I have these from Essence in here, these two right here, as you probably know, these are way too warm for me, so I decluttered those. This ice blue one, um, I couldn't get this to work very well. It's just not got a lot of pigment in there. And even though it might look like it on my fig finger, when it just comes across, there's just too much glitter and it didn't work that great for me. So that one I wasn't crazy about. The last few from ColourPop are the Ooh La La, which is pink, bright pink. That one doesn't work very well on my eyes. Kind of makes me look a little bit sick. <laughs> this one is the ballad one from ColourPop. Somebody just got in the shower, wouldn't you know? And this one is the misunderstood one, the Disney villains one. And that one is going as well. Then I have a Wet n Wild palette um, that I swore I was gonna use because I love this formula, but I never did use it. Hardly ever got it out. Can make does not make a great eyeshadow formula. So I would say steer clear of that. This is from Wet n Wild. They're old formula, but you guys can't get it anymore. And I have an extra one of these somewhere. And then the Elf Mint Melt. I don't think that you guys can get that one anymore. There's another Wet n Wild that another Wet n Wild that you guys can't get anymore. This one is from C Z C Z Z E E S E A. Um, beautiful palette the way that it's laid out and everything but there was much too much glitter in here I actually haven't even dipped down into the formula of this I'm just going to pass this on to somebody that can use it um, because the colors were just off for me and then this one from Bare Minerals I love the formula of this but again the colors weren't great for me on that one I have a Morphe blush palette that has to go because it just was very orange on me and then i have a natasha denona love glow cheek palette that one is going as well because the colors didn't work another wet and wild palette that's going to go and another highlighter from this is the amrezy i hate parting with this one but i can't use them anymore because because you guys just can't get them so they are going to go this is all skincare and hair care that's going to go and then a few polishes from zoya that are going to go so i'm going to put the zoyas aside and then i'll go through these really quickly this is from believe beauty that you can get a dollar general um, i didn't even open that beauty pie i didn't like that one it was kind of balled up on me this one is the l'oreal magic perfecting base a little bit too thick for my aging skin this is from nutra ox thinning hair system i thought this was going to be good it was very greasy on my hair sarah vital sent me a bunch of um, products from their line um, and i wasn't impressed with any of them to tell you the truth they ball up really bad this is a glycolic toner from good molecules great toner i have a million of these this one has been opened and um, even though it's like only a third of the way gone i can't use up all my toners i'm going to pass that one on to my sister flower beauty seal the deal hydrating setting spray i love this i'm going to pass that on to my sister just i'm afraid they're going to get too old before i can use them use them mud ma masky moisture boost vitamin boost feeding nourishing firming cream this one balled up this is a youth to the people ah I haven't even tried this one. This one's got to go back in my stuff. Okay, this right here. Have you guys heard of SBLA all over Christy Brinkley, all over the internet? You see it all over Facebook, TikTok. Not, it might be on TikTok um, and Instagram. Okay, this does nothing. So you guys know, this really seriously does nothing. It's supposed to be this uh, magic erasers and it's just stuff delivered with these little um, steel balls that just roll around your skin and kind of massage your skin. I think that's the whole concept of it is that it cools your skin and gives your skin a refreshed look at the moment. But don't be sucked in. I did that specifically because I wanted to know for you guys whether or not that was going to be any good. I don't like them. Living Proof Perfect Care Day Bodybuilder Customized Built Body and Hold Bodybuilding Hairspray. You can turn this nozzle and get more or less try less it doesn't work the matrix vavoom height of glam this one didn't work for me either not enough volume um this is old this was just got to go but this is a good setting spray if you want a setting spray that sticks around so only if you have normal to oily skin try this because if you have dry skin you're not going to like it it's bella jade botanicals it's made of green tea so it's got caffeine in it so it will dry you out so be careful of that but if you're an oily skin gal this is going to be a friend and then this one is the super skinny serum from paul mitchell i used to use this all the time i mean all the time and now it just makes my hair greasy and i can't use it anymore i used to use it for shine in my hair let me grab some of these over here 
supercharged facial mist from milani this is okay it's not that great um i don't remember exactly why i didn't like this i it might have been the fragrance because i'm getting more and more to where i can't do fragrance that much this is the Intense from Mon Perry. I have the original, which I love. The Intense was just too much of a perfume for me. I do have a Viva La Juicy. This is a body cream. Um, that one is just going to go. So I think I've gone over everything. Now, I do have these Milani Fetish Lipsticks. I am not crazy about this new formula, the matte one. Everybody raves and raves about it. I'm not crazy about it, but I am going to use these as blushes. Jen Phelps is a genius, and she talked about that. So I'm going to use these as blushes. I think it's a fantastic idea. So that is it. Everything else, that's another Wet n' Wild that's going into the pile as well. Everything else, I think I went over and I did good enough. I There's probably hundreds in here and hundreds of pieces of makeup. I'm going to have my son help me count these. It'll go up on the thumbnail how many pieces I'm decluttering. Please give this video a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I really appreciate that. You'll see my face in the next video. This time you saw my hands. So <laughs> I love you guys so much. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. Goodbye.